Hey everybody, this is Daniel with FitnessBlender.com and today we're going to be going through a kickboxing and core workout. We've got five different groups to go through, three of which are going to be focusing on the core, two of which are going to be focusing on the kickboxing style combinations. We're going to run through all of those, but before we get started with that, we need to get a little bit of a warm up in. So let's go ahead and get started with that. We're going to be doing each one of these for roughly 30 seconds a piece. I'm going to get my timer started. We're starting off with a high knee march and an arm swing. So just nice and slow, you're just bringing those knees up nice and high and swinging those arms back and forth across your chest. Just make sure as you bring those arms across, you switch which hand is on top. Just keep those knees going. Keep trying to bring those knees up a little bit higher each time. So you wanna bring them to at least hip height if you can, higher if possible. Start speeding up a little bit. Start working against yourself. We're doing a side lunge and reach, so you're going to drop off to one side at the same time as reaching that direction. So same thing off to the other side, reach and lunge. So try to drop down into that lunge as far as you can, as well as reaching across as far as you can. Shift feel this through your torso, as well as in those legs. Let's keep it going. And come up to a boxer stance, and we're just going to do a rotation with those feet planted nice and firm. Just rotate back and forth. You want one foot kind of staggered in front of the other. We're going to switch halfway. And go and switch those feet. Same exact thing. Just rotating those shoulders back and forth with that staggered stance. Next, we're going to be going into a squat with a ventral raise. So drop down into a squat, and as you do, those arms come up over your head, then back down, right back up. Try to really stretch those hands back behind your head. Keep that back nice and flat the entire time. Try to get a little bit deeper into that squat with every single one. Just go as low as is comfortable, especially if you're really cold, you've been sitting for a long time, you might need to take it easy at first. And we're doing a bent over rotation. So what you're gonna do is bend to as close to a 90 degree angle as you can on those hips, hands in front. Just rotate those shoulders back and forth. So really try to get those obliques warmed up as well as that spine. Almost done. We're gonna come up into a boxer shuffle here in just a second. And go and come back up. Go right into that boxer shuffle. Start relatively light at first, just kind of shifting weight back and forth. Once those feet and uh, arches start warming up a little bit, then you can start coming up onto that toe a little bit more, getting a little bit more aggressive, a little bit faster with it. Just keep this going. We're going to go into jumping jacks next. Or sorry, excuse me, we're going up and outs next. Just keep those feet going so we can get that, that uh, heart rate up a little bit more. And keep that pace going, we're just gonna go right into up and outs. Still staying up on those toes. Knee comes up straight in front. Pull it out to the side and back in. Try to keep your hips facing straight forward the entire time. Keep those lungs open. You should be starting to feel your respiration rate, your breathing rate increase a little bit. Now we're going into jumping jacks, just traditional jumping jack. Start out nice and slow, arms and legs nice and rigid. Try to do a bent arm version. You want those arms nice and straight. That way, your shoulder has to do a little bit more work. Just keep it going. Lungs open. We've got two more styles of jumping jacks to do, so we're just gonna go right into the next one. In about five more seconds. So we're doing a fly jack, so in front. So try to stretch those arms back behind you as far as is comfortable. And then bring those hands almost together. Don't let them actually touch. You wanna use those chest muscles and those back muscles to move those hands without letting them actually touch in the front. Nice quick motion, keeping those arms rigid. Ventral jacks are next. 
hands down in front when those feet are together and then hands up when those feet come apart stretch those arms back behind you as best you can keep that back flat don't arch as you bring those arms up all right keep that boxer shuffle going we're gonna come right back in just a second to start into our first round of core work I'll see you in just a second all right everybody let's go ahead and get started with that core portion of this routine uh, this is our first round of the core section each one is gonna be different it's gonna be 45 seconds on 15 seconds off go and drop down to the ground we're gonna be doing a crossover crunch next or first so start my timer here laying flat on your back arms up I'm gonna come up to those toes crunch up and then slowly lower it back down keep a little bit of a hover if you can and then right back up again just keep those legs and arms hovering as long as possible if you start getting tired and you need to rest a little bit you can always drop them between repetitions but try to just keep it going as long as possible so we're we'll doing this for 45 seconds straight so you're gonna probably get some burning going off of each one of these no matter what if you're not just check that form make sure you're doing as clean a form as possible with this one arms and legs nice and straight back press down against that mat and let that relax we're going to switch over to a back bow so on your stomach arms are going to be out completely straight in front of you you're going to lift those arms and legs simultaneously straight up off the ground so lift it up just do a nice arch slowly down for the harder version keep those hands and legs hovering and right back up again slowly back down so you want to make sure as you're doing this you don't bend those knees and pull up you want to try to keep those legs nice and straight and this isn't about how quickly you're doing this you just want a nice tight squeeze each time so the slower you go the better for getting that nice full range of motion get those muscles activated all the way through that range we'll keep that face looking down towards that mat and let that relax next one is going to be a Russian twist so go ahead and switch back around onto your tailbone and you're sitting up for this one feet out in front of you nice and slow you're going to lean back just a little bit arms out in front rotate left to right it's nice and slow keep that back as flat as possible the further you lean back the harder it's going to be so just go as far as you can control make sure you don't start letting yourself round out you want to keep that back pulled up underneath nice slow controlled motions as much rotation from left to right as you can Make sure you're not swinging your arms back and forth. You want to keep those hands right in front of the center line of your chest. So those arms shouldn't be moving, just your torso. Let that relax. We're moving on to just a traditional crunch next. So laying flat on your back, feet down on the ground, about a 90 degree angle on those knees. Press that lower back flat against that mat. You put those hands behind your head or fully extended just nice and slow you're going to crunch up as tight as you can slowly back down don't let those muscles completely release you want to keep those abdominal muscles contracted the entire time and crunch right back up if you want the harder version press those arms out straight to add a little extra weight if you're a real glutton for punishment you can always go grab a small dumbbell and add extra weight to this one to make it that much harder Keep it going, concentrating on that form. Nice, slow, controlled motions. The tight squeeze at the top each time. And let that relax. Switch back over onto your stomach. We're doing a back bow crossover. So very similar to the first back bow we did, but this time you're starting off to the left with both your hands and feet. You lift up and over. Try to hover again. 
up and over back to the other side. So you're getting those obliques in there as well as using that lower back and those glutes. Just keep it going, nice slow controlled motions. Back and forth. Again, if you need to, to get a little extra rest, you can let those hands and feet touch down in between repetitions. But if you can, keep them hovering the entire time. Again, if you want to make this one harder, you can always grab a small weight and put it in those hands. All right, that is the end of our first group, the end of our first core exercise, our core routine. We'll be back to start into that uh, kickboxing routine here in just a second. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get ready for that kickboxing round. We're going through a few different combinations. We've got five different combinations to go through. We're going to do first time through with one leg leading forward, second time through with the opposite leg leading forward, then we move to the next one. Same uh, timing setup of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So let me get my timer started, and let's get going. All right, our first one is going to be a jab, jab, cross. Nice and simple. So jab, jab, cross. Nice and quick. You want to try to keep those lungs open. You want to try to move as fast as you can. And because we're not punching anything, you want to use your muscles to push out and pull in. Pick an imaginary spot on the wall or on the video screen and just jab at it right the same spot every single time. Keep those lungs open, keep that motion going, get all those muscles engaged. All right, go back to that boxer shuffle. We'll be doing the same exact motion again, this time with the opposite leg leading forward. So that opposite arm is now gonna be your jab arm. Five seconds left. And start it up. So jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Just keep it going. Nice quick motions. If you do this just kind of like slowly throwing those arms, you're never gonna burn any calories, you're never gonna get your cardio up. So you wanna go nice and quick. Put a lot of effort into it, both in the push and the pull. You wanna try to move those arms out there nice and quick, but you also, also wanna pull them back nice and quick to get set up again. This is a type of routine that very much depends on how hard you're gonna push yourself. All right, so we're moving on to our next group, which is going to be a jab cross twice plus a knee. All right, so it's jab cross, jab cross, knee. As quick as you can. Just keep it going. lungs open. Drive that knee every single time. Get those abdominal muscles into it. So jab cross, jab cross, knee. All right. Another little break. Do the same thing with the opposite leg forward. Again, switching which hand is leading. Five seconds left. And jab cross, jab cross, knee. So every single time you do that knee, think of grabbing something and pulling it down into that knee. That way, you engage those core muscles a little bit more. Just 
Keep it going. All right, that's the end of that one. Moving on to the next. Got two jabs and a hook and a hook. So jab, jab, hook, hook. And then do that again as quickly as you can. Keep those motions moving. <clears throat> jab, jab, hook, hook. Jab, jab, hook, hook. Just keep it going. Still aiming for that same spot in front of you. Keep those lungs open, keep those feet moving. Just go to that happy place, make those muscles burn. The harder you push yourself, the more calories you burn, and the more muscle tone you get. All right, let it relax for a second. Same thing over on the other side, opposite leg forward. So jab, jab, hook, hook. Five seconds left till we start. Jab, jab, hook, hook. Jab, jab, hook, hook. Now as those arms start getting tired, you're gonna wanna start doing it from down here. Make sure you keep those hands up. Make those shoulders have to work harder. Get more of a calorie burn. More of a tone. Keep that motion going. Keep those arms up. Keep focusing on that one spot you're trying to hit. I'll let that relax. All right, we've got two jabs and an uppercut this time. So jab, jab, uppercut. Again, slow, jab, jab, uppercut. All right, keep those lungs open, breathing deep. Jab, jab, uppercut. Jab, jab, uppercut. Get a nice twist in there. Get your obliques, your upper back, lower back, all the way through that core, doing that motion for you. Stay light on those feet, up on those toes, make those calves have to work. Don't stand flat footed and do it. You want to keep those feet bouncing. Try to find every reason you can to burn a few more calories. Almost done. All right, again, take a deep breath. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Jab, jab, hook. Again, slow, jab, jab, hook. All right, you got about five seconds till we start up. And go, jab, jab, hook. Remember, get that body rotation into it. Breathing deep. I know you're probably starting to get tired by now. But keep pushing through it. If you're not getting tired by now, you're not working hard enough. Push yourself harder, really work against yourself with those punches. Get your entire body into each one of them. Don't just stand there and go through the motions. Really work it. All right, we got one more to do. We're doing a jab cross, two knees, and a jab cross, and start right back into it. Five more seconds. <clears throat> jab cross, knee, knee, jab cross. Jab cross, knee, knee, jab cross. Just keep it going. Keep those lungs open. Stay up on the ball of those feet. Now you're starting to get tired, but keep pushing through it. 100% effort. 
About five seconds left. All right, same thing on the other side. Let's sit up, jab, cross, knee, knee, jab, cross, and start it over. All right, five seconds till we start. It's our last one, give everything you got. Jab, cross, knee, knee, jab, cross. Jab, cross, knee, knee, jab, cross. Just keep going. Remember to really pull down with those shoulders and those arms. Get that core into it every single time. Keep those arms up, hands up by your face. And if you get off on the timing, don't worry about it. Just go right back into it. All right. That was the last one of those, which means we get a little bit of an extra break before we start in to our next core routine with all new exercises. We'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with our next core routine. We do the same thing we did last time, five different exercises, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Let get my timer going. We're gonna be starting off with a traditional plank. So you can get up on those toes and elbows and just hold it. We've got 45 seconds to hold. If you need to, you can always drop down on those knees for the easier version. If you have to, you can drop all the way down with those hips touched to let your, completely, uh, let your abs completely relax. Otherwise, just get comfy. Breathe normally, keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath. Just go to your happy place and hold out. So this whole round of cores is going to be different versions of plank. So get used to it. <laughs> Just focus on keeping a nice straight line from shoulder down to ankle or shoulder to knee if you're doing the half version. And let that relax. We're gonna switch over, do a reverse plank. So you're gonna swap those elbows back behind you, legs out straight. This one's gonna be a little bit more difficult than that traditional plank. Bring those hips up. Try to hold a straight line. Again, nice straight line from shoulder to ankle. The easier version of this one is really nothing. This is it. So if you need to, you can drop down on those hips for a little bit of a rest, but try to stay up on those heels the entire time. Try to keep those hips up nice and high. Keep those lungs open, don't hold that breath. Just go to that happy place. Keep that form as clean as you can. And let it relax, we're doing a plank on your left side. So again, this has an easier and harder, so easier version is with those knees stacked up on those knees, harder version with those feet stacked all the way up on those feet. We're gonna bring those hips up and hold it. You're probably gonna be feeling a lot of this through your shoulder. That's normal, your shoulder has to do a lot of stabilizing to hold yourself up here. If you have weak shoulders, then you might need to give it a little bit of a rest. Otherwise, just keep pushing through it. Main thing though is trying to keep a straight line through that body. Try not to let those hips dip. Just take nice deep breaths. Again, no holding your breath. About 10 seconds left. Just keep going. Almost done. And let it relax. Go ahead and switch sides. Again, either on those knees or on those feet. Try to mimic what you did on that last side. So if you had to quit early, make sure you quit at the same time on this side. And bring it up. Hold. Especially when you're doing left and right stuff, you always want to make sure you're balancing yourself as much as possible. So you always want to uh, time yourself or 
limit yourself off of the weaker side. So whichever side is weaker, that's the one that's going to be the limiting factor of how much you do on the stronger side. That way you can try to get them to catch up more quickly. You always want to try to make sure everything's even from left to right, front to back. There's always going to be a natural imbalance there. Five more seconds. And let it relax. We're going back to a traditional plank, but this time we're going to add a little extra motion to it. So you're going to be dipping those hips from left to right each time. So get comfy up on those toes and elbows. Bring it up, hold it, and then you're going to start that motion. So that hip drops down, and then same thing on the other side. Just nice and slow, alternate back and forth. Just keep a nice even pace. Make sure you're moving the same speed on the left as you are on the right. Your feet are going to kind of try to slip on you a little bit, so you're going to have to kind of reset them from time to time. Try to keep that elbow directly underneath that shoulder. Every time you come back up into that full plank, make sure you have a straight line from shoulder to ankle. No sway in that lower back. No round. And let it relax. All right. I'm going to grab this timer again, kick my mat out of the way. We're going to go straight in to that next round of the uh, kickboxing. So let me. Out of my timer real quick, I'm going to be doing more rounds on this one. All right. So, same thing as our last round of kickboxing, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Doing with one foot forward and then the other foot forward for the next round. All right, let me get my timer going. We're doing a knee jab hook knee. So, rear knee, so knee jab hook knee, and then start over. Knee jab hook knee. Keep up on those toes. Knee, jab, hook, knee. Knee, jab, hook, knee. Just keep that motion going. Keep those lungs open. Whoops. Trying to forget my own routine here. Knee, jab, knees, keep it going. All right, same thing over the other side. So slowly switch over, opposite leg forward. So using that opposite knee to start. So knee, jab, hook, and knee. Five seconds till we start. And start it. Knee, jab, hook, knee. Knee, jab, hook, knee. Just keep it going. Knee, jab, hook, knee. Knee, jab, hook, knee. Let's go to that happy place. Get it done. Keep that form as clean as you can. Really push into each one of these. Especially with that knee, you wanna make sure you drive it up. Make sure you're pulling those shoulders down, those arms down. Same thing with that hook. Every time you do that hook, get a nice big swing with it. All right, let that one relax. Moving on to our next, which is gonna be a front kick, a knee, and a jab cross. So we're doing a front kick, a knee, a jab cross. All right, start them up. Front kick, knee, jab cross. Front kick, knee, jab cross. Try to make sure that foot is nice and rigid. When you do that front kick, you don't want your ankle wiggling around. You want to flex that foot up. So front kick, knee, jab, cross. Get back into my rotation here. Switch it over. 
Do the same thing on the other side. So front kick, knee, jab, cross. Front kick, knee, jab, cross. All right, nice and fast. Start them up. Front kick, knee, jab, cross. Front kick, knee, jab, cross. Just keep it going. Again, try to stay up on those toes. Try to get too flat footed. Still aiming for that one spot on the wall. Drive as much energy into it as you can. Burn those calories. Tilt those muscles. Just make everything nice and tired. All right, let it relax. That was into round number two. Next one, we've got a knee, an elbow, and a jab cross. So knee, elbow, jab cross. Knee, elbow, jab cross. So knee, elbow, jab cross. Get that nice rotation to that shoulder for that elbow. So you want a contraction to that chest as well as through that rotation of that shoulder for that elbow. Again, that knee, driving that knee up, pulling those shoulders down, get a nice crunch on those abdominal muscles. A nice quick jab cross, burn a lot of calories. Keep those muscles tense. All right, let it relax for just a second. Same thing on the other side. So knee, elbow, jab, cross. Knee, elbow, jab, cross. Knee, elbow, jab, cross. Keep it going. Push that effort into it. Keep those lungs open. Starting to get tired, starting to get sloppy. Keep it going. Keep that form as clean as you can. All right, let those feet relax. All right, we got two uppercuts and two knees. So uppercut, uppercut, knee, knee. Five seconds, under five seconds. <clears throat> so uppercut, uppercut, knee, knee. Uppercut, uppercut, knee, knee. Just keep it going. Nice strong motion. Get that rotation through that shoulder for that uppercut. Pump that arm nice and quick. Then go right into that knee. Drive that knee as hard as you can. Under 10 seconds. Keep it going. All right, let down relax. Doing the same thing on the opposite side. So uppercut, uppercut, knee, knee. All right, stay light on those toes. Start it, uppercut, uppercut, knee, knee. Uppercut, uppercut, knee, knee. Again, make sure you're pushing yourself as hard as you can. Don't just go through the motions. Make those muscles burn. Make those lungs burn. Try to tie yourself out. If you're not pushing 100%, you're not gonna burn any calories with this. You're not gonna feel it the next day. So this is all up to you as far as how hard this routine is. Almost done. 
All right, let it relax. We have one more group to go through. Then we get a little bit longer rest. We're doing a front kick, a knee, and an uppercut. So a front kick, a knee, and an uppercut. Front kick, knee, uppercut, nice and strong. Front kick, knee, uppercut. 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 Just keep it going. Keep those lungs open. Keep those hands up. Focus on that form. I know you're getting tired. I know I am. I'm starting to get sloppy, but keep pushing through it. If you're not sloppy yet, it means you're not working hard enough. Oh, man. All right, one more on the other side. Then we get our break. All right, same thing. Front kick, knee, and uppercut. Keep those hands up. Front kick, knee, uppercut. Front kick, knee, uppercut. Keep going. Pick that spot on the wall, aim for it, and keep it as accurate as you can, even though you're getting tired. Think of it as a fight. If you're the one getting tired, they're gonna have a better chance to kick you or punch you. So keep everything nice and tight. Whew, man, I'm starting to lose it here. Keep going, front kick, knee, uppercut. Front kick, knee, uppercut. Keep reminding yourself of that rotation. All right, keep those feet moving. We are almost done. All we have left is a core routine and our cool down. So we'll be right back to start into those. Go grab a drink of water. I'll see you in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and finish up this last leg of this routine here. We're gonna do one more round of core. And then we have our cool down. So let me go ahead and get my timer started for that core section. We're starting off with a knee tuck crunch, so sitting down on your tailbone. You're gonna kick those feet out in front of you, tuck them back in. If you want the harder version, pick those hands up off the ground and just use your core to do that motion. So as you lean back, you straighten that back. As you crunch forward, you round those shoulders in. If that starts getting too hard for you, remember you can always place those hands back down on the ground right behind those hips. Just keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath. You should be feeling this not only in your abdominal muscles but also in those hip flexors, a little bit in the front of that quadricep, the front of that thigh. We'll let that one relax. We got leg raises next. I'm gonna hit those hip flexors one more time. Legs out completely extended straight. Hands out nice and wide. No putting those hands underneath your butt for cheating. So hands out wide, back flat against that mat. Legs come up right above those hips. Right back down again and back up. You're gonna feel it again, like I said, in those hip flexors and those quadriceps as well as those abdominal muscles. Just keep that back flat against that ground. Don't let that lower back lift up. If it starts getting too hard for you with a straight leg, you can always bend those knees and move from there. But try to go full extension for as long as you can. If you need a little extra rest, you can always hug those knees into your chest for just a second. Let those muscles release. All right, let that one relax. We've got a side hip raise next. So we're starting on your left side, off those knees. Those knees stacked for the easier version, legs extended for the harder version. Hand up on top of that hip or behind your head. Lift those hips back down, a little bit of a hover, right back up. Similar motion to that side plank, but you have that hip motion in there rather than just holding it static. Should you, feel, you should feel it on that oblique on the lower side, so from the base of that rib cage to the crest of that hip. 
you're trying to feel like you're pulling that shoulder down towards your hip to get a really nice tight crunch. Just make sure you don't round over forward. You want to keep completely sideways. Just keep it going. Got 10 seconds left. Keep pushing through it. Don't let it release. And let that one relax. Same thing over on the other side. Remember, try to mimic the exact number of repetitions is on the other side. Same style. And start it up. Bring those hips up, drop them a little bit of a hover, and right back down. Again, trying to pull that shoulder down into that hip. Get a good full range of motion on it. Make sure you don't round your shoulders forward. You want to keep everything straight sideways, perpendicular to the ground. Just keep that motion going. Keep those lungs open. Don't give up. Don't let those, that muscle burn give in. Keep going. We're almost there. Oh, let it relax. All right, we got bicycle crunch next. So on your back. Laying up flat on your back. One leg out straight. Hands behind your head. Nice and slow, you're going to pull those feet up in a nice oval pattern or circular pattern with those feet. Just crunching in towards those knees. The harder version, don't let those knees come in past your hip joint. The easier version, Pull them all the way in, nice and close. But try to get a good rotation and a crunch every single time you bring that elbow across. Just go into that happy place. Just keep those legs moving. This is our last exercise before we go into our cool down. Just keep going. Make those abdominal muscles burn. Ooh. And let it relax. All right, we're going to go ahead and stand back up for just a second here. We're going to start into our cool down. So nice and slow, we're going to start with just a regular toe touch. So feet just about shoulder width apart. Just going to go straight down towards those toes. Keep a relatively flat back to start. Should feel a little bit more of that hamstring. Just hold it there. And then nice and slow, you're just gonna round forward. Let that back get into the stretch as well. Try to keep those legs nice and straight. You don't need to lock them out completely. You can keep a slight bend. Just make sure you don't squat down really low. Just hold it there for a little bit longer. And let it relax. Feet out really nice and wide. You're gonna drop off to one side, drop that hip down towards your straight leg. Grab across in front of that chest, pull that arm in across your chest. You want to stretch that inside thigh as well as through that upper shoulder. Just lean back towards that straight leg. Same thing on the other side. Drop off to the other side. Lean down towards that straight leg. Arm across, pull in front of your chest. Nice and close to get that stretch to that shoulder, upper back. Just keep those lungs open, breathing nice and slow, nice full deep breaths. Don't breathe shallow. Straight down in the middle. Getting through those hamstrings again, just a little bit different position. Press those elbows down towards the ground as much as you can. A little shift from left to right. Get a little extra stretch to that inside thigh. Back to the center. And let it relax, and stand back up one more time. 
We're gonna do a quad stretch, so bring that uh, heel back to your butt. Lean against something if you need a little extra help for balance. Otherwise, just standing up nice and straight and tall, pull that heel to your butt, draw that knee back behind you while still keeping that torso straight up and down. Don't let yourself lean forward. Just focus on that balance. <laughs> Sure those calves are going to be nice and tired. And same thing on the other side. Bring that heel to your butt. Nice and tight. Press that knee back behind you. Standing up and down, nice and straight and tall. Try not to lean forward. Just keep those lungs open. Nice, slow, full, deep breath. And let that relax and go ahead and drop down. We're gonna do a downward facing dog, so hands to about shoulder width apart. Press those, that head down between those arms. Keep a little bit of bend in that knee. And then nice and slow, straighten those legs out as you can. If you need to, press up on those toes for a little extra, or a little less stretch to that hamstring. And then try to slowly let those heels drop back down, and stretch out those calves. Should be getting a good stretch for the underside of that shoulder by pressing that head down. A little less stretch to those hamstrings and that calf especially. Hold it for a little bit longer. And let it relax. Go ahead and drop down to the ground. Feet together nice and close. Pull those heels in nice and close. As close as is comfortable. Get that torso nice and straight. And press those legs down out to the side using your muscles to pull those legs down rather than pressing them down with your arms. Give it just a second. Flatten that back out, bring an arm, actually sorry, up over top of your head, we'll get there eventually. Grab that elbow and pull across. Same thing on the other side. And let that relax, get those feet out just a little bit, one leg over top. Rotate towards that knee that's up. Twist as far away from it as you can. Keep that torso straight up and down. And switch sides. Other leg out. Leg over top. Rotate around. Down, relax, because lay down flat on your back. One leg up over top. You're going to grab behind that thigh and pull in nice and close. Hold it there for just a second. Just let everything relax. Should be feeling that stretch to that glute of the leg that's bent and crossed over top. Go ahead and switch sides. Grab behind that other thigh, pull in. Just keep those lungs open. Let everything through your body start to relax. And let that release. Got one more stretch to go. You're gonna lay out completely flat. Arms up over top of your head. You're gonna press those hands and feet in opposite directions. Arch that back up as you inhale. Wiggle it out. 
and let it relax. Do that one more time. Nice deep breath in. Stretch it out. Nice deep breath. Let it release. Let's go and do that one more time, then we'll be done. So nice and slow. Stretch those hands and feet in opposite directions. Arch that back up. Deep breath in. And let it relax. All right, guys. That was our last stretch of this routine, which means this workout is complete. Hope you guys liked it. See you next time.